What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you can look behind me, you guys notice anything different? Give you a couple more seconds here. And that's right. If you guys do not follow me on Instagram, I already posted about these, but I finally blacked out my turn signals there in the fenders. They look so much better. I'll try and post a picture right now on what they look like before. They were just plain white. We actually took some tail light tint and blacked them out and I think they just look so much better. When they were white, they were really, really just out of place and didn't really go with the whole aesthetic here. They match the Rubicon logo, obviously the hood decal there, and of course the trim around the headlights and grill. So it goes so much better. Now that you kind of stare at it from the front, they kind of blend in instead of standing out like a sore thumb. So very, very happy about that. But anyways, we're gonna dive right into it guys from the video title and obviously if you guys have been a fan of the channel for a long time, you know I love buying Amazon products for the Jeep. Uh, I know there's just, Amazon has everything from freaking mattresses to Jeep parts to TVs to, I mean, just name it. Obviously I use them for a lot of my parts that are, you know, pretty common uh, across the internet. Uh, they usually have the cheapest price and I have two day shipping because I am a Prime member and there's a ton of other benefits that come with that. Not trying to sell you guys on Amazon, but I am trying to tell you about how many products they sell. Matter of fact, you could in, in fact build a Jeep that looks very similar to this with all Amazon parts, which is absolutely insane to me. Now, of course, the RBP wheels, uh, those are custom. You know, I had to get them straight from RBP. The tires, probably not. Road armor, I haven't seen uh, on Amazon, but there are a lot of parts. You can get wheels, you can get tires, you can get other fenders, especially for older body styles. Matter of fact, you can even get lift kits for these Jeeps. Uh, and obviously, I have my steering stabilizer here as well. And they're, they're pretty decently priced uh, as opposed to coming from the manufacturer. Matter of fact, you can find this Ready Lift lift kit for the Rubicon or even the Sahara and Sport. Uh, you can find that on there. There is Rough Country lift kits. Not a big fan of those kits, but they are on there as well if you wanted to go that route. Matter of fact, most of the part, like first parts that I've ever done to the Jeep were from Amazon. So keeping it cheap, keeping it simple, getting it in two days and installing it. Nothing like instant gratification. So I'm gonna quickly go through as many parts as I can uh, that I can remember that I've gotten for this Jeep. It's basically built off of Amazon, but I'm gonna try and get as many parts as I can remember and leave the links in the description below for you guys if you guys are looking for something similar. And it's gonna be a pretty long list. Uh, I just came up with like five right off the bat. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into it. And I'm gonna try and describe them as fast as I can or you know, in small detail so this video is not like an entire hour long. So obviously first up, the first thing that I see are these light bars So and the light cubes as well. These are from Rough Country. I do like their lighting sources. I'm not a huge fan of their lift kits, but their lighting sources are very, very good. These light bars were actually one of the first things that I installed. 30 inch does come in fact with the hood mount but these are the black series LEDs they are super super bright at night and then I wired them on the inside if we could pop in here we wired them inside to these switches so you could see when I press them they turn on red and then when I depress them they turn off so these are actually available on Amazon as well so that is another part that's kind of like a twofer right there uh, for the light bars. Moving on down from the light bars right here, you could see a stubby antenna. There's Rugged Ridge, there's uh, some kind of bullet antenna, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, there's this one as well, again, I can't remember the name of it, but this is a nice little feature to have. Obviously, uh, you get rid of the big whip antenna that goes all the way up and you can get these in black, so obviously they blend in a little bit more with all of the accents as well. Now this part I didn't actually get from Amazon, but I did notice when I was doing research for this video that it is actually available on there and I uh, you get a little bit cheaper than from the manufacturer and that's the ready lift two and a half inch lift kit again you can get a three and a half inch lift kit for the sahara and sport or you can get the two and a half inch lift for the rubicon now this lift kit's actually a full coil kit so the coil is actually taller but you could actually get a budget boost from this company as well so it just have like a two inch spacer that'll go on top of your factory coil so you'll maintain the factory ride with 
your coil, but you'll have a two and a half inch boost, so you'll be sitting just a little bit higher. I know a lot of people don't really believe in steering stabilizers, uh, especially this one because it doesn't have like that, that pass through. Uh, I don't have a problem with the steering stabilizer, also available on Amazon. If you're going to do bigger wheels and tires, uh, it definitely helps to have a steering stabilizer on there. So staying up front, but I'm not going to actually pop the hood because. Uh, reasons. But you guys know I have a cold air intake on here. Uh, the, the intake tube was actually custom built uh, by my brother, but the K&N intake filter uh, is actually obviously anything K&N is available on Amazon. You might as well pick that up while you're there because you're gonna need that eventually. I think that about does it for the front. I'm gonna move here to the back. Not specifically this logo, but you can actually get decals for this back window, uh, whether it be a flag or some mountain ranges, uh, something like that. I've even seen the Colorado flag over some mountain ranges, but that is another thing that you can get there as well. Graphics for the side of your Jeep, as well as the back window here. And that one's always neat because it's super simple to install. Uh, you can do it yourself within you know five minutes and uh, it adds something totally different to your Jeep. De definitely makes it stand out. On the rear here, I'm still waiting on my rear swing gate from road armor but we do in fact have a rough country oversized tire carrier spacer you can see it back there it's just a, it's about an inch out from the tailgate and then it moves the bolts about an inch up as well you'd have no problem clearing your bumper with an oversized tire it actually lifts it up and out so you have plenty of space now this one I think is JL specific I haven't really looked into if they've ever made one for the JK but the 30 inch light bar that goes across the top there from Diode Dynamics. That is actually a neat one to have. Backing up on the lake when we were pulling jet skis in and out and obviously in the darkness of the woods, if you ever need to back up or see out of the rear of your Jeep, that one will light up the entire trail. Like, it was insane. So that is another one. You know, I mean, all these light bars, I understand. I know a mall crawler, all this stuff but I really do enjoy that light bar. Speaking of light bars, if we pop in here, you guys all remember, I think this was actually one of my first videos that I've made for the Jeep. And I was just so excited. I think I actually ordered this before the Jeep even arrived, but that was the rear hatch LED. You can see just barely at the bottom of the, the glass there. So if we grab, so if we grab our little light switch here and turn it on, there it is, you guys can see it a lot better now. This thing's super nice for like when you're tailgating and stuff, you have the tailgate open, it actually shoots out pretty far out, maybe 10 to 15 feet out, and then really wide as well. So this thing's really come in handy when you're going tailgating with your friends, uh, or you're out on you know the campsite and you're trying to unload your Jeep or load it back up in the middle of the night. Now another thing that I actually just almost went unnoticed and it was actually one of the more recent things since I got my bumper, we have the relocated license plate bracket and as you can see obviously there's no light coming from down here and obviously you need light at night for your rear license plate otherwise you're going to get pulled over every single time and this is why they almost went unnoticed is because these LEDs they're super cheap I think they're like six or seven dollars you can get these and they just screw right into the top and then you just run the wire all the way down to basically where your factory light was. It has a really low profile look. It doesn't look like there's any lights there when you're looking straight on and obviously it keeps you legal at night. I didn't realize how many things I actually had from Amazon on this Jeep. So I guess pretty much this entire build is like an Amazon build. I think we're nearing the end of the tour. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's check it out in here. So coming inside we have the Alien two-piece sunshade. You can actually get this in one piece as well. There's also other brands on Amazon, but I'm gonna leave the link for this one because I really enjoy the two-piece shade, especially if you have a four-door. Uh, if you have a two-door, obviously you're just gonna get the front piece, but if you have the four-door, it's, it's super nice because then you have the option to either take the back off, leave the front on, or vice versa. Or you can have both of them on, which is really nice for when you take the top off, uh, especially when I was down in Daytona for Jeep Beach, the sun was absolutely brutal, so this helped out a lot, as well as the Alien Sunshade. These are brand new, these grab handles, and I love these things because they have the three points of contact that go around the little roll cage. These things are not let me see if I can hold the camera with my other hand. These things are not going to go anywhere. You can see they're not moving, they're not sliding, and they're made of paracord. You can get them in two different colors. I obviously went for the black. I didn't want to do the red because I didn't want to overdo the red uh, accents because I just, I really like just like a little bit of that red, and I think that that would add just a little bit too much, especially because I have the Mopar factory Rubicon dash that I put in there. But that's why I went with the black. It's a little bit more stealth looking and 
Again, these things are absolutely amazing. Really good grab handles for cheap that won't take you very long to install at all. Because my seats are folded down, I'll open the front for you. So you can see we have weather techs in here. You can get all sorts of all weather mats on Amazon. Personally, I prefer the weather techs. They just have a little bit of a deeper channel. I know that they don't have the cutout like the Mopar factory one for the drain plug, but I just, I like these a little bit better because I like the material. They're not as rubbery. They're just, they're a little more tough. Uh, and they obviously hold like in the winter when my boots are dripping wet with snow or mud or whatever it is. Uh, these hold a lot better uh, side to side. Like there's, they're, they're really deep walls. You can see that goes, this, that side goes up about, you know, four to five inches. On this side, it covers pretty much all the way up until the plastic. But again, you can find your favorite brand as well. Is that it? Is that, is that everything that I did? Let's see. Sunshade. Oh, here. This is actually something. It, it's not really specifically for this Jeep. It's really for any car, but a nice power pack. Uh, this one actually can jump. Apparently it can jump a V8 engine 50 times on one charge. Uh, or you could charge your phone from it. Obviously I, I have that cord there. There's an LED flashlight. This is just really handy to have. That way you don't have to ask somebody to you know, help jump you if you have run into that situation. You can always pull over, help somebody else out. Uh, and then this is also nice for you know, camping at night. You have a little flashlight there for you and you can charge your phone. Nice, nice multi-tool for the modern era. And I think that will just about cover it, guys. Uh, I know I probably have more on this Jeep than I'm like realizing right now. Oh, you know what you can get uh, as well. I forgot about this because it's hidden. If we go into my carpet panel here. Excuse the dog hair. Pedal Commander. If you guys have never heard of Pedal Commander or iDrive or I think there's another one, I can't remember the name of it. These things are absolutely awesome. This one's worth describing a little bit deeper than pretty much everything else I've done, you know, a minute or two. So Pedal Commander or the iDrive or anything else that you could find, uh, they are throttle controllers. So basically you can take this Jeep and the Pedal Commander I specifically like because it's got 32 different settings, including like an eco mode that can save you like 20% in gas, which is absolutely amazing. And I've actually noticed a huge difference when you put it in the eco mode. Uh, as opposed to any other mode. There's also a City, a Sport, and a Sport Plus. Now with a manual transmission, the Sport Plus is gonna be very difficult to use. The throttle is so touchy that you almost can't even let the clutch off fast enough to you know catch your 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 drop point. It's just the throttle is just there and you're just gassing it. It's insane. So uh, for automatics this would be completely fine. I'm sure if you go into like Sport Plus and you go all the way up to the top setting this thing would be absolutely insane. You'd rip around town and you just have an absolute blast. Uh, for me, I find that I usually drive it on city or I drive it on eco because most of the time I'm daily driving this thing. I do actually get into the sport mode, you know, when I'm feeling it good on the weekend and you know, I just, when I just want to hit that throttle and get more power fast. With these big tires, obviously <laughs> I can't move this thing very fast because these things are super, super heavy, but these uh, throttle controllers are absolutely insane. Some of the like is if you go all the way up to like sport plus and you just tap the throttle, it's so, so, so touchy. But then if you go down to like the eco mode and stuff, uh, you really have to hit it and then almost wait like a second before it kind of eases you on to the throttle. So these things are absolutely insane. These are worth the money for sure. Now these are, they're pretty expensive, but sometimes on Amazon, I do catch them running sales on the pedal commanders more than what the website will actually you know allow. So I would actually keep an eye on those uh, and wait for a good sale and then jump on those because, because it's probably your best bet on getting the best deal on one of those things. So we're just gonna tuck this back down in here. And good to go. I almost forgot about this one as well, but underneath the Alien Sunshade, you can see here, I have anodized aluminum red Agency 6 hardtop locks. And you can get these, I think there's like six or seven different colors. They definitely reduce some rattle. Uh, I noticed that immediately when I put them on. They reduce some rattle that I had uh, in the hardtop freedom panels. Maybe that's just me. But my favorite thing about the red one is it, it is pretty close match. You can see up there. It's a pretty close match to like the Rubicon 
red factory dash. So if you guys are looking for, you know, another little accent for inside, that is something you can do as well. I know they have blue, orange, red, green, black. I think they just have like aluminum silver, which is actually really cool as well. Also, the reason I tuck it down into the carpet is because this specific brand uh, actually offers a Bluetooth version. So I can actually control that from my phone. I don't actually have to take the module out and you know hit the buttons. And I think that is the only throttle controller that does that. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the only one that does that right now. So sometimes it's just more convenient to have it hidden away, tucked away. You don't have to really look at it. It's not an eyesore. There's really not a good spot to put it anyway on the Jeep. Uh, so you could just have your phone. And as long as you aren't in motion, uh, you can change you know, from your phone, which is absolutely so convenient. And of course, you can get your Angry Eyes grill, you can get Freedom Top storage bags, you can get cheap window tin. Although I don't recommend getting window tin on Amazon, it's been done before. Uh, I recommend high quality tint from a local tint shop. They know what they, they're doing, you know, Lumar 3M, any of that stuff, it, it's really good stuff. But other than those things, I think I covered pretty much everything that's on my Jeep that you can get from Amazon, which is a pretty long list in itself. Obviously, there's a ton, a ton of other stuff on Amazon for your Jeep or suits your lifestyle, anything like that. It's just absolutely insane what you can find on the internet. And Amazon specifically, what you can find on there, uh, not including, I mean, you can go to eBay, you can go to RuggedRidge.com, you can go to BDS.com, you can go to, you know, any manufacturer's website. But most of the time, the best deals that you're gonna find are on Amazon, on eBay, you know, sites like that that are either secondary sources or their primary sources, but most of the time they're running really good specials on them. So if you guys are looking for any of these parts, I will leave links in the description below. Make sure you check them out. There's a ton of other stuff that you could find on Amazon as well. And if I think of anything else that I have on my Jeep that I didn't discuss, I'll leave that as well in the description below. So make sure you guys are checking on that constantly because I definitely will continue to update this thing with cheap parts from Amazon as long as they keep working. And everything that I have on here, I've never had a problem with. So. I've had this Jeep a year. Most of these parts have been on here for more than, you know, eight months, a year to eight months. So it goes to show you, not everything on there is cheap. As long as you know what you're looking for uh, and you, you know, read reviews and you don't always buy the first thing or the cheapest thing that you see. So anyways, guys, that'll do it for me today. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't get enough of those fender flare lights. They look so freaking good. But anyways, that'll do it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Quick walk around, quick description of a lot of things that I have on here that are from Amazon. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Find your own parts on Amazon. If there's anything that I missed, go ahead, leave it in the comments below. Thanks again for tuning in and subscribing. We are just under 7,000 subscribers. I cannot believe it. So let's keep that rolling. Share this video for anybody that's looking for cheap parts or cheap part ideas for their JL or JK. Leave this video a big thumbs up. It really helps the channel and I really appreciate it. And as always guys, we will catch you in the next one.